all of that math in a nanosecond. A couple drop downs, punch a couple numbers in, boom, hit go, and here it is. As a house flipper, once you generate a motivated seller lead, it's time to crunch the numbers so you can present an offer to the seller and get a contract. Well, for most flippers and would-be flippers, analyzing deals is a time-consuming, painstaking task. But with the right deal analyzer tool, it's easy and fast. And with my deal analyzer tool, it's lightning fast. And on today's video, I'm excited to show you exactly how it works, how it can cut your deal analysis down to a fraction of the time and help you get more deals and make more money. And if you stick around, I'll show you how to get it for free coming up. Hi, it's Jerry Norton, the nation's leading expert on flipping houses, and whether you're going to fix and flip or wholesale, as a flipper, you have to take each and every qualified lead through an analysis process to crunch all the numbers and determine what is the most you can pay to the seller in order to make your desired profit. In flipping, we call that your maximum allowable offer, or MAO, and to help standardize the deal analysis process, we follow what's called the fix and flip buy formula, or if you're wholesaling, the wholesaling buy formula. Now, I've done several videos explaining the deal analysis formula in more depth, and you can watch those videos later. I'll put a link in the description box. But let me briefly run through the formula, and then what I wanna do is show you my deal analyzer tool in action. But first, if we've never met, I'm Jerry Norton, and this channel is dedicated to helping you make more money right now in real estate, not later in 10 or 20 years, or even three to five years, but right now so that you can achieve true financial freedom and live your dream life. Consider subscribing to my channel and click the bell icon to get notified when new videos are released. And like I mentioned in the beginning, stick around so that you can get my deal analyzer tool for free. Now, in order to understand the buy formula for flipping houses, you need to know that there are seven things that we consider and factor in on every single deal. Now, I've got these on the whiteboard here. Let's go through these. First is our ARV. ARV stands for after repair value. This is the price the home will sell for on the current open market once it's fixed up. This is a variable because every deal is different because the ARV depends on the house and the neighborhood. All right, so next we have our repair cost. How much is it going to cost to fix it up? This is also a variable because what needs to be fixed is different on every deal. Now, number three is our closing cost. Our closing cost, this is all of the costs and fees that you pay to buy and sell a house. Now, this includes settlement fees and title insurance and prorated taxes and transfer tax. And the biggest one of all is real estate commissions. So this number we can estimate because it's fairly predictable. Now, I conservatively budget on every deal 9% of ARV. 9% of ARV is budgeted or allocated to closing costs. Okay, next, number four is our carrying costs. Now, carrying costs is referring to the cost of capital, right? It costs money to borrow capital to buy and fix a house. Now, this includes interest, points, and other fees for the money. And this number is also fairly predictable, so I conservatively budget for this 6%. 6% of ARV goes to carrying cost. Now our fifth number that we have to factor in is the fix and flip profit. Now how much is the fix and flipper going to make on the deal? What does that profit look like? This is another number that is predictable and I conservatively budget on every deal 15%. 15% towards the fix and flip profit of ARV, right? So 15% of whatever you sell it for should be your profit budget or allocation. And if you're wholesaling, then you need to add in your wholesale fee on top of that. So I suggest your minimum wholesale fee be $10,000 minimum. And it can be much higher than that, but you really should be going into deals as a wholesaler trying to make at least $10,000 on the deal. So we're gonna put 10,000 here on our number for our wholesale fee. And then finally, that last number is our buy price, right? Our buy, what is the buy number factoring in all of these things? And this is really what it comes down to. People ask me all the time, Jerry, is this a deal? Is that a deal? Well, anything is a deal if you buy it right, right? So we wanna figure that out. What do I need to get this deal for or get this contract for factoring in all of these other numbers so that it's a profitable deal? So now let's look at our formula. All right, so here it is. It's ARV times 0.7 minus repairs minus wholesale fee equals our buy price. That is our formula. Now in a minute, I'll go over and I'll give some examples and I'll show you what this really looks like. But you need to know that there are two variables you have to know. You have to know ARV and you have to know repairs. 
Once you know those two numbers, you can calculate your buy price, your maximum allowable offer MAO on any deal, but you've got to know ARV and you've got to know repairs. Then we can plug in our formula, our equation, and we can calculate out the numbers. Now to really illustrate how these numbers work out, let's, do, let's use an example right now. We're going to say that our ARV is 100,000. We're just going to keep the, the number simple and our repairs is 20,000. Okay, so we got ARV of 100,000, repairs of 20,000. Let's do the math now, let's do the formula. Okay, so we're gonna take 100,000 ARV times 0.7. Okay, so why 70%? Remember, we factored in three things. We factored in 9% for closing costs, we factored in 6% for carrying costs, and we factored in 15% for our profit. Well, these three things add up to 30%. So when you multiply ARV times 0.7, you're essentially taking 30% right off the top. 30% covers what? Closing costs, carrying costs, and profit. So we're gonna factor those things right into our numbers, right off the top and take that out. So that's why we multiply uh, ARV times 0.7. Now, if you wanted to make a 10% profit instead of 15% profit, then it would be ARV times 0.75. You're taking out 25% instead of 30%. But these are the numbers that give you a really good budget, are really safe, and allows for you to hit some really good numbers that you should be following to make money on a deal. All right, so let's, let's look at our formula here. We've got our ARV of 100,000 times 0.7. So that has to be done first, so we'll put that in parentheses minus our 20,000 in repairs that we said we had, right? And let's say that you are wholesaling this deal and you have a $10,000 wholesale fee. And so then do our math and that equals our buy price. So we're gonna take 100,000 times 0.7, that gets us to 70,000. Before we've done anything, we need to buy it for 70,000. Then we're gonna subtract 20,000 in repairs and 10,000 in wholesale. So that would put us to 50 then that put us at 40. So 40,000 would be our buy price. 40,000, if we bought it for 40,000, we could wholesale it for 10,000 more. So for 50,000, a fix and flipper will buy it. They'll put 20,000 into it and they'll have a budget of 30% to cover carrying costs, closing costs and profit. And they sell it for 100,000. See the math backwards. All right, so that's our formula. That's how it works. Now, if you're a fix and flipper and you're not wholesaling, then you wouldn't have this wholesale fee and you could pay 50,000, right? Because you wouldn't be taking another 10 off for your wholesale fee. But that is our formula. That is our fix and flip or wholesaling buy formula. Now, let me ask you a question. What if there was a way to do all of this math using a software tool that already calculated the ARV for that area and it already calculated the repairs and it ran all of the numbers and it instantly gave you a buy price. Well, let's jump on the computer right now and let me show you my deal analyzer and how it does all of that for you. Okay, so here we are on the computer in my instant deal analyzer. So once you log in, you're gonna click on here, add new deal. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna select your property that you wanna do a deal analyzer on. And then you're gonna choose fix and flip and what type of rehab is needed here. Now, this is where you're gonna choose, is it a light, average, or heavy rehab? It's got an algorithm built in that explains all of that. Um, I did a video that explains how I determine light, average, and heavy. It's a really awesome way to calculate out and estimate your repairs on any deal. And so this has built that right into the system. So let's just say it's average. And are you planning on wholesaling it? Yes. And let's say that we wanna make a $15,000 wholesale fee. So we'll put 15,000 and then we're gonna click Calculate and check this out. All right, now check this out. Once I click Calculate, then it runs all of the numbers for me. So let's take a look here at what we've got. We've got the square footage of the house up here at the top. We've got our price per square foot, and this is taken by looking at the average sold homes in that zip code and calculates that. Now that's a ballpark number. The way to get really accurate would be to look at specific comps that are similar to the subject property in that given neighborhood, but this gives us a really good ballpark number of 122. That means it's telling us the after repair value is $131,882. It's got our rehab budget of 25,000. Again, it's ballparking that number based on an average rehab on that size of a home. And then here's our numbers. Look, there's our 9% for closing costs, our 6% for carrying costs. Now it automatically defaults to 20% on the profit, which would be a 65% formula, but we're gonna go ahead and change that to 15%. So you can see here, you can customize this. So if I wanna change my, my closing cost to eight, I just drop it down to eight and so on. So now I've got my 70% um, formula, nine for closing, six for carry, and 15 for profit. 
and then I've got my $15,000 wholesale fee built in. So that means I would need to buy this deal for $52,317. You can see it ran all of those numbers. It did all of that math in a nanosecond. I, a couple drop downs, punch a couple numbers in, boom, hit go, and here it is. Uh, again, this is a ballpark number to really get you a starting point on your offer, on your maximum allowable offer. If you wanted to tighten up these numbers, again, you could do further due diligence on your ARV number and on your repair number, and then adjust those accordingly in here, and then it would readjust your buy price, get you that buy number, and then you can just click update, and it saves all of your deals right here in the deal analyzer. So there's my deal there. If I wanted to go back and reference it at any point, I just click on it and it opens it back up and there are all my numbers. No more losing everything, uh, you know, stuff lost and on a spreadsheet somewhere, it saves it all in the system. And check this out guys, for a limited time, I don't know how long I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna give this away to you for free. Um, as a loyal subscriber to the channel, be sure you are a subscriber, that's the only thing I ask in return is that you subscribe to my channel, watch my videos, continue to learn as much as you can about how to be successful flipping houses. Uh, but I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can actually get this software tool, the deal analyzer tool, for free. Uh, you'll need to enter in your email and then we'll email you a login to get this software and start using it on your offers and on your deals and look guys if you learned something on this video show some love hit that like button right now leave a comment let me know if you think this is going to be awesome and really help you in your business really simplify things for you make it a lot easier no more do you have to you know do the long form math you can just instantly do it with this so let me know if this is something that can be helpful for you and if you haven't yet be sure to subscribe to the channel i'm dedicated to helping you make more money and less time flipping houses so you can live your dream life. Now, I went over here just one of the ways following the 70% formula. There are actually two other ways if you're wholesaling for how to come up with what your cash buyer is willing to pay. Be sure to watch that video right now. It'll really help you as a wholesaler know how to calculate your offer price so that you can make money wholesaling. 